Hi, this is Jonathan Smith. Today I'm going to teach you how to install Maven 3.2.3 on CentOS. I'm going to be using CentOS 7 for this demonstration. So basically it's going to be pretty easy. But what I'm going to show you in this demo is how to reference my website for the instructions. The reason why is so I can cut and paste the instructions to make this demo quicker. There's no need to show you my typing skills. So if you want to fo follow my instructions, you go to jonathanmarksmith.com and that's my website. From there, you can see how to install Maven 3.2 on CentOS. So let's follow the instructions. Let's click on it. The first thing my instructions will tell you is if you go down, is that you have to download Maven and untar it. So again, I'm going to just cut and paste this just so I don't have to spend my time typing out the commands. So right there you can see I'm downloading Maven. And I'm downloading Maven 3.2.3. Once Maven is downloaded, as you see, it is taking a couple seconds. We're going to untar it. So let's just move this window over a little bit to help us. Okay. And as you see, it's 99%. Okay. As you can see, it's done. Let's just do ls-l. And as you can see, there's the Maven tar file. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to untar it using a su See, running, saying run this command as you do and putting it to the user local directory. So let's run the command. Oh. As you can see, I made a typo. Let's go through and don't need that question mark. All right, do I need the question? Uh, I don't think I need the question mark. Oh, what's it doing? Oh. And it's going through, type in the password. And now, as you can see, I untarred Maven to user local. Let's go into user local to make sure it's there. And again, edit paste. I like to edit paste. And let's just do ls. Now you can see the directory right there. Now, let's make a symbolic link from that version of Maven to oh, let's go symbolic link okay I'm gonna do a symbolic link from Apache Maven-3.2 to the Maven and again I'm doing it as root so I got to now if I unless you can now see I have a Maven pointing to them now let's set up Maven the first thing what I have to do is in the profiles Profile D directory, I'm going to make a new profile. So, I'm going to say here, paste. As you can see, as super user again, I'm making in the profile directory a new shell script. And I'm opening it. And now in there, I'm going to show you what I'm going to paste. In that file, I'm going to export h2 home points to Maven. Then I got h2 home equal to pointing to the bin, and then I add it to the path. So now anyone who logs in will have Maven in their path. So on that note, let's test to see if our installed worked. Well, the best way to do that is to close this terminal. Let's open up a new terminal and type in MVN version. And as you could see, okay, as you can see, well, my Java wasn't set, but that's okay. But as you can see, it found my Maven 3.2.3 and it worked. And there's the location. So right now, my Maven is set up and everything is working. So now, anyone who uses this box will now be using Maven 3.2.3. If you have any more questions, please feel free to email me 
or else you could always go to my website right here at jonathanmarksmith.com and send me email or check out my other tips. There's a lot of other tips on the website. Thank you.